What's up, everyone? How's everybody doing? Welcome to the 12th episode 12, of 12, the Nothing Manette Show. And this one's a little bit special because this is our Christmas episode. So, Ooh, it is. Merry Christmas to you all. And happy holidays. Mikey, how you doing, man? Doing pretty well. How are you? I'm good. I'm fired up. I'm ready to go. But first, I have to mention, I mm-hmm. noticed that you deviated from your normal uh, polo choice today. It looks yeah. good. Yeah, I, so I stepped outside today. It was a little chilly. Mm. So I was like, might as well throw on a nice long sleeve, be nice and cozy. And when I got in, I saw that you had the same idea, but you yeah. went with the hoodie. Yeah, you know, it, it was a little chillier, mm-hmm. and this is just so comfortable. Yeah. I, I decided I should wear it for our Christmas special. Yeah, no, definitely. And you know what? Since it is Christmas time, of course, we had to show appreciation to you guys. We love every single one of you so fans. much. So be sure to stay tuned to our social media accounts this week. Mm-hmm. On the day that we publish this episode, this we're going to be doing a special giveaway on our Instagram story. So make sure you stay tuned and learn how you can enter for a chance to win a hoodie or, or a long sleeve. sleeve. Yeah, and you can find us on Instagram at Modern Sports Media. We actually changed it. We also changed our Twitter as well. Now it is Modern Sports underscore. And on Facebook, you can find us by searching Modern Sports Media Group. If you're not following us, come and follow us. If you're not sure, if you're still following us with the name change, just go check it out. Be safe. Yeah, and make sure to stay tuned to our accounts because we actually do release articles as well mm-hmm. in between the episodes that we publish. So we have basketball articles, yes, football articles, and this week we're starting with hockey articles. And on this episode, we're going to be discussing all of the Christmas games. He's going to take his picks. I'm going to take my picks. But before that, a word from AJM Performance. AJM Performance. Do you want to train like the pros do? AJM Performance is the right fit. They can help you chase your goals and accomplish them. You can contact them by their Instagram at AJM underscore performance, or you can send a call or a text message to 786-370-1387. Hit up AJM Performance if you're trying to get that boost. Go out and become the best you. Every year, Christmas begins with kids opening up every single present under the tree. For NBA fans like us, the gift we get is a slate of marquee matchups the whole day. This year, the premier matchup is LeBron James on the purpling goal for the first time ever, traveling to the Bay to battle Kevin Durant and Steph Curry. Now, everyone thinks this is going to be an amazing matchup. Unfortunately, I see a blowout. LeBron James is playing amazing, but Steph Curry... And Kevin Durant are also playing on an MVP level. And having two versus one, unfortunately, it seems like LeBron, again, is outmatched. I know it's your boy. I'm sorry to say this to you, but he's taking home a big L this year on Christmas. Honestly, when they first released the Christmas games, I was so disappointed with the NBA. I mean, how can you schedule this as a matchup and expect people to watch? Mm -hmm. I completely expected it to be a blowout. I was completely upset that that's the game they decided on. I understand you couldn't do a finals rematch this year because... You can't put Cleveland, Cleveland in there. But I was expecting like the Warriors, Rockets, or something like that. Mm-hmm. But you know, as the season has unfolded, and especially with recent struggles, I actually don't think it will be a blowout. Now, I do expect the Warriors to win, obviously, okay. but especially being at home. Mm-hmm. But I think it might be a close game. And I think that because, one, Draymond Green is struggling. Mm-hmm. Two, they're losing games that they normally should. And three, the Lakers are playing awesome. At the time of this recording, they're both the three and four seed with the Warriors being the three and the Lakers being the four. Mm -hmm. LeBron's playing at an MVP level, and I think they might make it entertaining. Yeah. So I do agree with you that LeBron James is playing at an MVP level, and normally that is enough to get you over on a team. But Kevin Durant, 29, 17.5 boards, Mm -hmm. six assists. 50, 36, 93. Mind you, while well, Steph Curry I know. is producing 29, <laughs> 5, and 5 on 50, 48, and 95. I just think there's way it's, too much there. And if they start clicking in the second half, goodbye. It's crazy. And and just to remind you, I'm not saying that they're going to win. Yeah. I'm just saying that it could be an, an entertaining game. Now, besides LeBron playing at an MVP level, you have to pay attention to the fact that Kuzma, he's playing very well. Hart and Lonzo, they all look good. And not to mention, Rondo's back, Brandon Ingram's back, and they both looked good in their first game being back. So I'm looking forward to hopefully having an entertaining game. (music) 
One of the most entertaining games scheduled for Christmas Day afternoon is going to be the 76ers at Boston playing the Celtics. Now, the 76ers are coming in, playing pretty decent, having some ups and downs throughout the season, and coming in with their new roster featuring Jimmy Butler. The Celtics, on the other hand, have been struggling recently and just took a massive loss to the Bucks. I personally feel as though, you know, this is Christmas. Things happen. They've been struggling so far in the season. But I do believe that Boston is a team to be reckoned with. And I do believe that they have to eventually start to get it together. And I'm going to stick with the home team taking this win. Who do you think wins this one? So, I do think Boston rights the ship. Mm -hmm. But I don't think they do it on Christmas. Mm. I think the fact that Jimmy Butler added to the 76ers caused a lot of problems for the Celtics. I agree. Just because the fact that no one's checking Joel Embiid. No one's checking Jimmy Butler, and none of them are stopping Ben Simmons. Whereas Jimmy Butler can go and shut down Kyrie, mm -hmm. and Bede's locking up Horford and the entire paint. And Ben Simmons, I'm fine with throwing him on Jason Tatum. I like that matchup. Let me tell you, once they made the move for Jimmy Butler, the 76ers are in prime position mm -hmm. to really contend with the Celtics for that number two spot. Because I think we both agree that the Raptors, at least at the moment... Yeah, they're playing the most consistent basketball. They're definitely the best team in the East. But I have to take the cells for this team, or for this game, rather, because one, it is Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Two, they are home. And that home crowd in Boston, in the TV Garden, I expect playoff energy, and I expect the Celts to come out with a close victory. Yeah. Honestly, another thing that I think plays a big factor is that Boston knocked out Philly last year. So mm -hmm. Philly already plays with a chip on his shoulder, especially in beat, and now adding Jimmy Butler. It's like, oh, you, you beat us last year. We're going to we're gonna make sure every game we remember who beat us last year, and, and we're coming for you, yeah. No, definitely, and I agree with that, but I also think that the them taking such a bad loss to the Bucks that they just did, I think that's going to Slap in the face, kind of. Exactly, thing. I think that's going to fuel them as well. But one thing we can definitely both agree on, this might be the game of the day. Definitely could be. Also on Christmas, ex-teammates turned now MVPs are going to battle it out. Paul George and Russell Westbrook are heading the Thunder as they go into Houston to face James Harden. Unfortunately, we will have no Chris Paul due to a hamstring injury. However, with that being said, I still think James Harden takes this game. The way he's been playing recently, it's been at a peak MVP caliber. He had a 50-point triple-double. Jamar, I know neither of us are really the biggest Harden guys. But do you see him backpacking his team again, or what do you see? I definitely see James Harden dropping huge numbers, mm -hmm. simply because he's James Harden, and that's what he does. Yeah. But I have to say, I favor the road team in this one. Okay. OKC has been playing exceptional basketball. Mm -hmm. They've been playing tenacious, especially on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. It seems as though everyone's really starting to fit into their role, okay. which I love. Russell Westbrook, his shots are way down, mm -hmm. and he's playing primarily the facilitating role, which is how he needs to be playing. And then you have Paul George, mm -hmm. who has taken the primary scoring role. Yeah. He's having the best season of his career. Mm -hmm. He's averaging the most points, most rebounds, most assists, most steals, the highest player efficiency. Mm -hmm. He's doing it all. And honestly, without Chris Paul especially, mm -hmm. I don't see how Houston takes this one. Yeah, normally I would have gone with OKC because Schroeder off the bench, 17, 4, and 5. Stephen Adams, 16, and 10. Yep. It's just that this month alone, let me let me list off the amounts James Harden's been dropping. His low was 15. Low is 15. He avenged that later against, he, against Utah, 47. Mm -hmm. He has a high of 50. Now, it's also haven't hasn't been the best basketball to watch just due Definitely to his play not. style. Yeah. Honestly, like the numbers are so gaudy. But then when you watch the game, you're just like, he's at the he free throw dribbles, line again. Pump fakes, fouls, or doesn't even get fouled, <laughs> free throws regardless. Drives into defender, lowers his shoulder, hits someone else in the face with his wrist, flicks it up, he ends up on the floor, yeah. someone's missing a tooth, and Harden's like, foul, foul, and they're like, foul, And he foul. gets he gets the best whistle in the league. I don't oh. know how he does it, I don't know how many times he takes the refs to dinner and, yeah. and all of that, but he gets the best whistle in the league. I mean, we saw when he played against LeBron... He was getting calls on little tacks, and LeBron's getting doom. LeBron's and getting like flagrant like, fouls, not called. It's, and it's James insane. Harden, you look at him weird. You look at him weird. It's a foul. 
Unfortunately, the, so a, it might be a flagrant too. To be honest, you might be out. If you if you give him like a little scowl, <laughs> definitely a flagrant too. But going back to the game, I I just really don't see how Houston wins this one without. Um, I understand that they're home, but mm-hmm. without CP3 and against an OKC team that's been playing so good, I think OKC takes. Yeah, it. I just see James Harden honestly going to the free throw line like 17, 18 times and just doing it like that, getting Russ in foul trouble, maybe PG in foul trouble. I like just his play style. Honestly, it definitely could happen. This Christmas Day game features two Western Conference teams that aren't at all what we expected them to be before the season began. I'm talking about the Portland Trailblazers heading into Utah to play the Jazz. Now, before the season began, we expected both of these teams to be high-caliber playoff teams. We expected both of them to be contending Mm -hmm. to reach that Western Conference Finals matchup, and neither of them have lived up to that. With that said, I actually favor Portland in this one. I think that they begin to right the ship. Dame, mm-hmm. as usual, has been playing great. Mm-hmm. And I think that the other players step up and get a big win in Utah Christmas okay. Day. Um, so I think the Trailblazers are a better team overall. Mm-hmm. But I think matchup-wise, it favors the Jazz. Just because of the way they play defense, it's it's not the best for a jump-shooting team that mm-hmm. the Trailblazers are. So it's with Rudy Gobert locking down the paint. And also, they played each other on the 21st. Probably got blown out by 30. Yep. It just it didn't look good. Dame didn't play good. Honestly, no one played good, and the Utah bench stepped up. Don Texans personally have been playing well mm-hmm. recently. I'm glad that you brought that up because that's actually one of the reasons that I feel as though Portland's going to win. Okay. Being smacked in the face, obviously, they'll be playing with a chip. Mm-hmm. Not to mention that Spider Donovan Mitchell has not been playing good. Mm-hmm. Nurkic has been playing great for the Portland Trailblazers. Mm-hmm. As like a number two, a number three yeah. to Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum. Mm-hmm. I think that everyone has a big game. Again, it's Christmas. Everyone's going to be hype. And I feel as though Nurkic, really, that matchup with Gobert is going to be very interesting yeah. to watch. And I think that Nurkic has a big game. I think that Dame has a big game. And I think that they win. Yeah, honestly, Rudy er, Rudy Gobert has to do a lot to yeah, win this game. Exactly. Donovan Mitchell right now is averaging three assists a game, okay. but while averaging 2.7 turnovers. Yep. It's not... He's playing really rough this year, but that's also what we saw with the Jazz first half last year. You're right. They were really bad and then just went off on a they spurt. Yeah, I think adding Kyle Corbett did help. The bench Definitely. is playing a little bit better. I just think that defensive style, especially how Dante Axum is playing now, mm-hmm. it's just jump shooting team just don't like to see that. And then it's like, okay, maybe we can drive. And then you just see the stifled tower and you're just like, maybe, maybe not driving today. Definitely. To me, it really just comes down to this. It comes down to the matchup between Damian Lillard and Donovan Mitchell, mm-hmm. and the matchup between Nurkic and Gobert. Yeah. And I think that Portland's yeah, going to win both of those. I th- yeah, I see them winning the point guard one. The center one, not so much. I definitely see Dame dropping points. Ever since Madison Square Garden opened for basketball, NBA superstars, college superstars, even high school superstars, have been waiting for their moment to step onto the garden and play on the iconic court. This year, the Milwaukee Bucks are traveling to New York to play. And I personally think Giannis Akatemkempo has his garden game. I think he goes off. I think this is his statement game. Like when Steph had his statement game, when LeBron has gone to the garden several times, Mike, Kobe, KD, and just shut it down. Jamar, what do you see happening in this game? Obviously, I I see the Bucks winning. Mm-hmm. I don't, and I think this will be the blowout of all the five. Games. Oh yeah, I don't. This is another one. I under I don't understand why it was scheduled. I mean, I guess you have to have New York yeah. on Christmas Day, I guess. But the teams really aren't on par with oh, each other. Oh no, 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 not even close. And and which I I like the New York Knicks as a young team, mm-hmm. the core that they have going forward into the future. Yeah, it's not not Christmas. Bucks, no, 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 no. So. I do got the Bucks winning. I do think that Giannis, there's there's no one who can guard him on the other side. No, not at all. He's, he's going to go to work. It might be a 50 ball, honestly. Yeah, I was hoping it, for it. It might be, and which is crazy because it's going to be straight layups. No jumpers for a 50. Yeah. And it will be interesting to see when's the last time that's been done. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I definitely see it being a blowout and Milwaukee walking away with the W. Yeah. So initially I was hoping for a 50-point game from Giannis, but like the more I've thought about it, what I honestly think we can see is a 40 and 20 game. He yeah. may end up with like 46 and 23 yeah. because the only guy really size wise is Kevin Knox. 
He's a rookie. He's a rookie. He can't. He, and he's like, I'm not. Yeah, I don't expect him to do anything. Also, the size different. Like, he's nowhere even. Yeah, near. And, yeah. Like, he just happens to be the most, the, the closest to it. And then Ennis yeah. Cantor is not protecting the paint. Yeah. Against like we saw what he did against Boston, where he went, like, he euroed in, and then where like every other play goes for a, a finger roll, he's like, okay, come here, yeah. <laughs> and just spiked yeah. it. Yeah, he's a freak of nature. That's why he's called the Greek freak. Yeah. And we both agree this game's gonna be a blow. Yeah, I I think that's the only reason they scheduled the game just to have Giannis have a. A amazing game on Christmas in the garden. His garden moment. Mm-hmm. That concludes the Christmas special of the Nothing But Net Show. We want to thank you guys for your support, and we do want to acknowledge, as we did on our social media pages, that we crossed a hundred subscribers. Thank hey, you all. and we look forward to continuing to grow with you guys. Thank you, Kyle Diaz, for the interview. I hope that you guys did check it out. We went ahead and did a poll on our social media pages and found Mm -hmm. that you guys would rather shorter episodes and separate videos for the interviews. So if you haven't already, please go ahead and check out the Kyle Diaz interview that's on our channel. Yeah, definitely go check out that interview. Big time baller over in the UK. Definitely a really cool interview, seeing that he knew him growing up. And again, we did switch our social medias. So go check our Instagram out. We are going to have the giveaway running on there. You can find us at Modern Sports Media, again, on Instagram. On Twitter, it is now Modern Sports underscore. And you can find us on Facebook by searching up Modern Sports Media Group. We love each and every one of you. And again, as he said, we hit 100 subscribers. So we'd like to thank every single one of you. Again, thank you, Kyle Diaz, for the interview. It was great to do. And I hope you guys liked our Christmas special in the new format. Yep. Thank you all. We look forward to continuing to grow with you guys. See you next year. Peace.